JP, welcome to Bath Rugby. We're in week five now of pre-season. How have you and your family settled in so far? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's awesome to be here. Um, the weather is unbelievable. And uh, we've had the first three weeks of, of pre-season, which, which has been great. The boys are really gone well. Um, we've had a week off and we're back now in our fourth week of rugby, as we call it. So uh, settled in well with the family and we are doing, um, we're doing well, thanks. Have you had a chance to kind of see much of the city with, with your family and take in the surroundings? Yeah, definitely. Uh, a month before we, we, we were about to, to come here, um, we came over from, from Ireland, so we managed to see the city uh, for a week. And then um, now that we're in here, we, we sort of know where to go and, and where the good places are, the good old coffee shops. So, uh, yeah, no, all settled, uh, seen the city and loving our, our short time here. You're making an impact, obviously, earlier on in your time here at Bath Rugby. Let's talk about your coaching career so, so far. You, you know the rec, you've, you've played at the rec once before, but then started your coaching journey early. Talk me about that decision at such a young age. Um, well, I had a knee injury and it was gonna, I was at a small club and it was going to keep me out for a lengthy period. So I decided to start doing the analysis while I'm rehabbing. And, you know, I did it in such a way that um, other people saw my work and I then got pulled into the Lions as analyst and that's really where I had to make you know make the choice between playing or or, or coaching being an analyst so I took the the journey of, of being becoming an analyst and made my way through that into coaching in 2013 um, and it's been it's been short um, but it's been unbelievable at the moment if I say short you know I only really started coaching in 2013 2016 I was with the Springboks end of year tour, um, had a good successful period with the Lions um, and then on to Munster in 2017 and, and now in 2022 I find myself at a, at a great club like Bath. Did your role as an analyst kind of set you up to be a different kind of coach to someone that's probably just gone through that coaching system and not experienced anything else? Yeah, definitely. Um, as a kid growing up, I loved watching rugby. Uh, I played rugby obviously when I was six years old, so especially the 95 World Cup, you know, I recorded every single game in the 95 World Cup because it was in South Africa, such a big hype. Um, and I, I watched those games religiously after the World Cup um, with, without me knowing that one day I'll become an analyst. But what it taught me is different roles, different positions, you know, especially me being a, a backline player. You know, I, I, play, I could play in any position in the back line just because I watched a lot. Um, and then when I got injured, I sort of went back to that, watched a lot of rugby, coded a lot of rugby, um, saw different pictures again that I, you know, that I saw in that 95 World Cup. Um, and that gave me a good insight to, to different things um, in a rugby atmosphere uh, and which I could bring to my coaching. The 95 World Cup, obviously, in South Africa. Is it those sort of moments when you were younger that made you want to be in professional rugby, whether as a player or as a coach? Yeah, definitely. Um, as a young boy growing up, I always wanted to become a Springbok, you know. And then in 2000, 2003 at the Bulls, when I was playing there, uh, a great coach um, said to me that there's going to be three, three different scenarios for you players starting, this was just before pre-season, starting a pre-season. You're either going to become a springbok, you're either going to stop playing rugby or you're going to become a coach. And when he said you're going to become a coach, I was, I was sort of taken back and, I, you know, typical boy that wants to play for the springboks. I'm not going to become a coach. Why would I want to become a coach? So um, here I am uh, coaching and, and really loving it. You didn't play for the springboks, but you have coached at the highest level. Talk to me about that experience being one of the coaches uh, of your national team. Immense pride, I can imagine. Yeah, immense pride. Um, very fortunate to be able to do that. I sort of came into a stand-in role at that stage um, in the end of 2016 in, in the, the, their end of year tour. So uh, 
really, really fortunate to be able to to be picked, and um, it's you know it's it's always special to be picked for your country, whether you're a player, whether you're a coach. Um, it's it's always special, and um, for me, it was unbelievably special. You know, um, week in, week out, for four weeks, you have massive crowds. Um, it's that test match atmosphere. You were always on the outside, sitting on the stands. Now you're part of it. And, and that makes it so much more enjoyable and so much more special. How have your values changed as you've gone through all of the, these experiences, starting coaching uh, at a young age, like we've said, and, and to now being in a different country with, with Bath? How have your values changed or, or increased? Um, I wouldn't say they've changed. Um, as a young kid growing up, uh, I always want to be be known as a person that 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 works hard, um, and different people have different opinions, and, and 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 it's different to other people what the word working hard means. But for me, it's just staying the same, um, doing what I what I need to do, um, and doing it at the best of my ability, um, and then. You know, just just giving the best version of myself and portraying that version, um, and getting people to a level that that I would see myself at. So um, it's not it's not changing my values at all. It's it's how I was brought up. It's how I um, believe myself to be and and to be hardworking, um, to never let people down. Uh, Sometimes that's, that's on the one side a bad thing, but on the other side a good thing. So, um, you know, I just want to give my, the best version of myself and, and treat, treat others with respect and dignity and try and get them to the highest possible level. And that comes with building relationships, of course, with players and other coaches. What have you learned over the years from, from other coaches in particular and obviously someone you know well, being Johan van Kran, who has taken you here to Bath Rugby? Yeah, I've been fortunate to work with incredible coaches, learn from, from, from good coaches, and, and especially Johan, you know, I, I can just be thankful for him, you know. Um, but on the other hand, if I didn't work hard, if I didn't, if he didn't believe in, in what I want to do and how I, I do things and, and the way I want to coach, then we wouldn't have been on this path together. But we are on this path, and, and, and I'm grateful for that. And I'm, I'm at Bath at the moment uh, with a massive challenge in front of us, but with a challenge that is going to be hopefully memorable um, in the seasons to come and the season. How have you integrated with the other coaches? Obviously, Joe Maddock, former player, but a new coach at the club, Neil and Luke have obviously been here last season. How have you guys interacted and integrated with each other to make sure the players perform on the training field? So we've had a couple of meetings pre-pre-season, um, which has obviously set the tone, got to know one another. So once we came in, it wasn't a new environment as, as such on a coaching front. and. You know, we're only in five weeks into, into pre-season, so we're getting to know one another. But it's been seamless and it's, 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 it's been really good. Um, we're really integrating with one another and bouncing ideas off one another. Um, and the good thing is, is that we, we all want to improve. You know, we all want to make the club better. We're here for one goal. So it's not about myself. It's not about Joe. It's not even about Johan. You know, it's making the club better, prestigious. Um, and putting it back on the pedestal that it needs to be at. And you do that by working hard, as you say, out on the training field. How has pre-season gone so far and what hard work have the boys been doing? Yeah, pre-season has been great. You know, the boys have really accepted everything, you know, everything that we've brought in and wanted to change, that we've changed. Um, they have they've have this no-moan uh, mentality, which is great. You know, they're working hard. Um, they're getting their detail down, so it's just really putting them into positions that once they get there, it's those difficult positions that they're in, difficult situations, and just giving them a plan to, to work out of that, you know, so um, they've really, really had open arms 
and re received everything with open arms, which is brilliant. And all this hard work leads towards that first game of the season against Bristol Bears, where I'm sure a number of Bath fans will be in attendance at Ashton Gate. And then the week after, at the REC, the first home game of the season against Sale Sharks. I'm sure you've heard a lot about the REC and the crowd. How excited are you to, to get there and experience it for yourself? Unbelievably excited. Um, it's again uh, a great rugby town, great rugby supporters. Um, you know, it's sold out. When you watch TV, it's always sold out. So, so it's, it's great. Um, and I can't wait to be there in that sale game. Um, we don't want to jump the gun. So we know we've got Bristol, our first away game and our first game of the Premiership. Um, but again, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We're just focusing on this week, which is pre-season week, week five. And then we go into another, another week. Then we've got the Coventry game and the Jersey game. Um, those warm-up warm -up games and then we're going to Bristol so the weeks are special going into those games local derby the Bristol game so uh, that's going to be a special game and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that. JP thank you for joining us and wish you all the best for the next season. Thank you.